What is up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Tuesday, the old two for Tuesday. In my world, it is day one of Hell Week. So super pumped about that. Wife's birthday is today, anniversary Friday, Valentine's a week from today. Lord, bear me strength. Uh, all right, here we go. As always, please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Appreciate everybody that's jumped on board. Uh, we're getting massive upgrades in the YouTube channel. We're going to do some rebranding, clean it up, tighten it up. Um, and maybe someday I'll actually get Jeff and Sean to show their faces on YouTube. Can't make any promises, but I'll try. All right. With your help, maybe. With your help. You're not missing much. But anyways, all right, today's topic. Oh, linebackers. This is actually, uh, we would not have said this a year ago, but this is the strength of the defense, in my opinion. Linebacker room, right? I mean, with two returning starters coming back, Tommy Eichenberg, one of the best linebackers in the country. Steele, finally, sticking to the linebacker position, no longer messing with the running backs. Had a full year of games. So Eichenberg and Steele, let's talk about them. And uh, let's go through this entire room and, and see how things go. Because honestly, we last year at this time, we went into a pretty crowded room because we had uh, obviously Tommy and Steele. We still got Cody Simon, uh, Reed Carrico, uh, CJ Hicks, Gabe Powers. But then you had EA and you had Taraja. So Taraji and EA moved on. Now we're down to six guys plus Arbel Reese is coming in in this 2023 class. So he's a stud, but don't expect to get a lot of playing time out of him. Um, so anyways, let's, let's get into it. Let's talk uh, uh, in spring, starting off uh, spring practice, Eichenberg and Steele aren't, aren't going to get much, much action. Tommy's not getting any because he's having uh, surgery. Uh, maybe repairing those those two thumbs. I don't know. Uh, but and Steele, just because he's a vet, you know, uh, is going to have limited reps. Um, and you you want to see what the young guys have, you know. Uh, so don't expect to see much of Eichenberg and Steel Chambers in the spring game, especially uh, uh, Tommy. But so so we got Laronitis coming in. He's essentially the the position coach for the linebackers he's taken over that room um he wanted when he came in uh, and met with the media on wednesday last week he said he wants to have an influence on the linebacker room he wants to build the best linebacker room in the country uh he talked about his time at, at notre dame he had a lot of responsibility in the linebacker room so those were the things that he wanted to make sure he had in a, an agreement before he came to Ohio State. He wanted to have this heavy influence, wanted to have ownership responsibility is, is essentially what he's saying of the Ohio State linebacker room. And so I think uh, Jim Knowles has probably, you know, given up some of that control somewhat. Uh, Coy McFarlane, who was the, the linebacker GA, probably did most of the uh, on-field linebacker coaching. But so Lauren Knight nice is taking over that position. And, uh, so let's talk about uh, Steel Chambers. Uh, he's going to get the veteran treatment. He's not going to be in every competitive, uh, you know, practice and and heavy hitting. Um, and Lowell's, Knowles and Laurinaitis are going to start looking at the other. They want to get Hicks in there. They want to get uh, Gabe Powers in there. Uh, they kind of know what they have with Cody Simon. Uh, being a, a third, uh, I think he's a fourth year guy, actually. Yeah, I think Cody's four year, fourth year. Um, so what does Steel Chambers need to work on? Well, he needs to work on um, more consistently shedding blocks. His run defense did improve over the year, but he needs to get better at uh, shedding blocks in the running game. Uh, here's a quote from Jim Knowles. He said, uh, Steele's a guy who's very easy to, very coachable, has 
very athletic skills. We want to really work with Steele on his hands, the inside the box fight. He operates well on the perimeter and he did fine inside, but I think as he grows in his career, he's going to have to face those physical challenges inside by using his hands more. So again, shedding those blocks by using his hands, you know, basically boxing, you know, with uh, big, huge, big uglies on, on the O-line uh, in the run game. So uh, Eichenberg, uh, like I said, he's one of the top linebackers in the country. Uh, Jim Knowles said, I think there are a lot of things we can do with Tommy in terms of pass coverage and getting him involved with getting his hands on the ball more. He said, uh, working with him on route progression and those kind of things are what they're doing. So uh, I would agree. Uh, neither linebacker did well in pass coverage. Uh, Tommy probably the worst of the two, but uh, yeah, definitely er an area that uh, Tommy needs to work on. And again, uh, no contact for Tommy in the, in the spring practice. So uh, what about CJ Hicks? Let's talk about him. Uh, Lauren Nitus had some comments about CJ. He said, uh, just a ton of talent, unbelievable movement skills, looks the part. And I'm just really excited to get to know him and work with him. You can see the talents there. Uh, it just pops off the field. Watching him run today was impressive. Uh, there are a lot of facets to playing linebacker, but when you get a look at all the guys, he's an impressive looking kid. Um, and CJ did not play at all on defense last year. He played virtually every game except for one, I believe. Uh, yeah, one one game, the very first game of the year against uh, Notre Dame, he did not play at all. But every other game, he was on special teams only. Um, who else? Uh Reed Carrico. So this is his third year. He, last year, he only played eight games on special teams only. Uh, Gabe Powers, his second year, three games on special teams only. And Cody Simon had 233 snaps, but still that's uh, about a third of what uh, Tommy and Steele were going at. Uh, Tommy was 761, Steele with 687. Uh, so Cody really only came in when they needed a Sam linebacker against, you know, those run heavy teams when they want to play a, a traditional four, three. So that's why Cody got so much limited snaps. Uh, like in the George game, for example, he had one snap, you know, but against Michigan, he had 17. So you can see that the type of offense is going to dictate Cody Simon's uh, playing time. And fortunately, Chip trained him staying in the running back room, so we don't have to worry about him. But um, so that's the linebacker room. Uh, I really think you're going to see if you could go to practice this spring, I think you would see a lot of Reed Carrico, definitely CJ Hicks, and Gabe Powers. I think those three guys are going to get heavy reps. And uh, who knows how they fit in to the uh, two deep coming in the fall. Uh, I think these guys definitely have to have to be factors in the two deep. Um, obviously. So, so I got for you today, driving down to uh, Marco Island this morning, and uh, I'll be coming to you from uh, the another beach, a different beach. I don't know. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe. That's it. All right. Go Bucks.